While you've been away, the keepers have been feeding the lions and not surprisingly, this offers one of the highlights of the day. I caught up with Peter and asked him how long he'd been photographing big cats. About three years actually, on and yeah. off, so uh, it's something that I've got more and more into over the years and uh, still enjoying it. Yeah, and what's like, your favourite shot that you've taken up to date? I think there's a couple, there's the beautiful headshots that you can get of the mer leopards, uh, then there's the action shot, shots that you can get of uh, the uh, Sumatran tigers as they jump for little bits of treat and things like that as well, and then of course there's the classic close up of the eyes, you know, letterbox yeah. sort of shot as well. So uh, there's, there's a good variety that you can get, which are really good shots. And how long have you been doing these big cat days? Again, about two and a half to three years. Um, came on one uh, with a friend of mine, and then he said, well, look, I'm not actually gonna do these anymore. Why don't you take them over? And it's growing the business from there. And um, it's a case of getting people aware of it, and then good group of people that can visit the website, download the fact sheet, and then, you know, come on, have a great day as well. So is it as easy as going on a website if you want to get involved in a day like this? Or? It is. Um, you can Google uh, my name and uh, visit the website. There's an events page there, fact sheet that explains everything uh, about the sanctuary, what the day is all about. Just give me a ring, fill in the booking form and uh, that's it. If the availability is there, it's as simple as that. Brilliant. So what are the key pointers then for getting a good shot today? There's several. Uh, there's knowing how to deal with uh, the wire like this, making yeah. sure the lens you know, either fits through here or is um, <clears throat> not being obstructed by any of the bars, not shooting on auto, and um, basically getting a, a good low perspective in at the eye level of the cat, um, not, you know, not shooting down on them. So there's a few other hints and tips which we save for the day. Yeah, and so what are the key mistakes you see people making when they first come here? I think there's two that um, are made quite commonly. That's shooting on auto, okay. uh, which uh, I would say is a big no-no. Um, you need far more flexibility and far more control over the shot because the animal's moving. The light does change quite a little bit as well. You need that flexibility. The second thing is basically putting the camera on um, continuous uh, shooting and basically shooting off, you know, several tens of shots very, very quickly. You fill a card up yeah. and then you're sort of like, oh, where's my laptop? I've got to now download everything. So. Yeah. Um, you're here for a day, you've got plenty take of time. Your time, take your time, choose your shot. Absolutely. So what kit have you got with you today? I've got um, a Sigma 7200 uh, 2.8, nice fast lens, um, good focal range as well, and a uh, trusty uh, Nikon D300, and um, that's basically it. What, what's the minimum requirement you'd need for if you came for a day like this with you? Well, a lot of people would think you need a lot of, a lot of kit like this. It's certainly not cheap, you don't. No. You can actually come and get some very very good shots with a compact camera okay. you don't have a lot of the problems that the dslrs have in terms of with the wire because the lenses fit through here and action settings and things like that or close up close up modes you will get some beautiful shots with a simple straightforward compact camera so what are you hoping to get today any certain cat you're after there's my favorites which are the mer leopards i can just photograph those for hours yeah. uh, there's a new cat down here which is a palace cat um, it's a bit like a domestic cat, but it's a bit sort of funny looking really, <laughs> and uh, quite cute as well. So it'd be nice to get that because I've never photographed it before. Right, so, okay. So um, that would be, uh, that would be good, because they're quite shy as well, so. Oh. Um, oh, fantastic. Well, thank you for your time anyway, Peter, and uh, I'm sure we'll have a great day. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. So Peter got his chance at the palace cat, and although as he predicted it was quite shy, his patience paid off in the end. Well, sadly that's all we've got time for here today at WHF. I hope it's given you a great insight into how to take photos of big cats and little cats, and a big thank you from everyone here today for letting us take these photos, especially these guys. Hmm, I think it's rolled over and gone to sleep.